Latinem, Nem Blockchain en español para ti. Edición especial. Hola amigos de Latinoamérica, bienvenidos a Latinem, el espacio de la Fundación NEM.io en YouTube dedicado a contarles a ustedes todas las novedades especiales que tiene la mejor blockchain del mercado, la blockchain de NEM. Hoy vamos a dedicar este programa especial a un importante personaje del panorama de la Fundación NEM.io y se trata del director de alianzas estratégicas y de unión en sociedad de la fundación Name.io para la zona de Australasia. Se trata de Jason Lee y queremos hablar acerca de él en este breve resumen que preparamos. Recientemente Jason Lee fue reconocido en la revista Forbes Asia por ser uno de los 30 con menos de 30 del 2018. En esta lista se publican los nombres de los 30 profesionales de menos de 30 años más influyentes del panorama económico de la región. Y este profesional cuenta con experiencia en el sector bancario, ha sido mentor, consultor e inversor en iniciativas blockchain y fomenta programas de incubación y proyección de iniciativas bajo esta tecnología en la fundación NEM.io. De momento se encuentra en una particular gira en Estados Unidos, haciendo visitas a instituciones universitarias y como veedor de una mesa redonda acerca de blockchain, el Summit Blockchain que organiza la revista Forbes en Boston. Afortunadamente tenemos en línea a alguien que nos pudo dedicar un poco de tiempo en su apretada agenda ya que está en Boston, en Estados Unidos, preparando la charla que va a dar en, acerca de blockchain en este evento de la revista Forbes. Se trata del propio Jason Lee, a quien ya tenemos aquí con nosotros. Hi Jason, how are you? Welcome to, to Latinum. Well, finally, welcome to Latinum. Thank you, thanks Alexis. I'm really honored to be here. I've heard about the great work that you've been doing together with the team. Keep it up. Why, thank you, Jason. Well, now, before we dig into deeper issues in this interview, can you explain our audi audience what's the deal with the strategic alliances about in a foundation such as Name.io Foundation? Wonderful question, uh, Alexis. Um, strategic Alliances uh, really looks into how NEM can work together with other organizations for mutual benefit. Uh, and usually, Strategic Alliances come in the form of a non-financial arrangement where uh, no partner pays each other, but both have certain level of benefits uh, that can be uh, enhancing each other and, and helping each other in their roles itself. So my role really is to make sure that we find partners uh, that will be able to uh, allow each other to interact and support each other for mutual benefit itself. So that is strategic alliances. Thank you, Jason. We have to congratulate you because of the Forbes list in which you were nominated. Now you are in the United States of America doing this tour in these big time universities such as Harvard, such as MIT, and also in the summit with the Forbes people. Now, what did you find there? How do you see the, 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 the thing going on in the United States and blockchain? Yeah, so uh, I guess just a quick background. Um, I'm very thankful I got into the uh, Forbes 30 under 30 uh, list for 2018. And it was also because of my role with um, the NEM Foundation and background. And uh, they invited me over to Boston for the uh, Global Summit where about 7,000 people would be there. In fact, I will be hosting a round table on blockchain and enterprise adoption uh, with the people who will be there in uh, the Forbes event. And along the way as well, uh, they discuss with the team and say, let's go to the local meetup groups as well as the universities to, to engage and talk about the NAM blockchain. So in the last couple of days, I was in uh, Los Angeles and I met uh, the universities there from the uh, Fuller Seminary to uh, California uh, Institute of Technology, USC, the University of Southern California, and then hopped over to, um, um, to San Francisco and went to Stanford University as well as the Starfish Mission, which is a blockchain community co-working space. And then later to Boston for the uh, Global Blockchain Conference. 
and uh, I met with the uh, local blockchain meetup. They got about 2,800 meetup members there, and, and we had a nice event talking about them, and also uh, with the Harvard University uh, students in Boston. So today is, is a meet in between right now. I'm heading off uh, for the Forbes 30 under 30 summit um, starting tomorrow, and it has been absolutely amazing uh, seeing students from all across the United States of America as well as uh, people and the local community. Now, what inside Alexis is that people actually know about NAM. When I come in and I wear the NAM shirt, they come to me and say, Hey, NAM, I, I, have, I know about you. And in fact, one person told me, I actually have a note as well uh, running on NAM. I said, so glad that you're here in town and, and talking about NAM, uh, and that's why I'm here. Thank you, Jason. Now, what other opportunities have you seen in the United States about blockchain and NAM? Okay, so uh, first off, I must say uh, Alexandra Tinsman as the new regional head of North America has done an absolutely phenomenal job um, getting the ground starting. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear about them, say, oh, I know Alexandra from inside NAM. Uh, and she's been to uh, different parts of uh, North America talking about NAM already. And also uh, Jeff McDonald. People ask, oh, is Jeff with you? Is Alex with you? Because uh, they've offered, uh, in fact, I think Pedro as well came over to North America to speak, right? Yeah. So, so we've got uh, quite some groundwork uh, being done already. Now, when it comes to what North America can tap into with regards to them, I think that uh, it is going to be the same. They're going to sing the same song. We're going to dance to the same tune. It's all about enterprise adoption. NEM will always be a plug and play out of the box solution for as a smart asset blockchain for enterprise adoption. So over here as well, I'm, I've been talking to uh, system integrators or service partners and companies who would like to use the blockchain. And when I tell them how easy NEM is as an API-driven uh, blockchain protocol, people just get it and they say, I want to start thinking and working. So I've got a lot of uh, business cards and emails to follow up on right now with regards to how businesses can start to adopt the NEM blockchain from an enterprise adoption perspective. Uh, from a university perspective as well, there are a lot of students who are interested. I've been getting now uh, emails from different students saying, that, hey, I'd like to uh, learn more about how the protocol works and and uh, in Caltech, uh, we were very uh, they were very technical questions. In fact, the president of the Student Blockchain Club for Caltech uh, has a PhD in uh, physics, and and Caltech has produced one of the the most noble laureates in the entire world uh, from their university itself. And uh, and I've also seen in LA um, the community there is is very much media focused. So I did a number of <coughs> interviews with uh, different. Um, uh, media podcasts from the Coincast uh, voice to uh, different groups as well. So I'm seeing a very diverse group here, but at the end of the day, I think uh, the main goal is really enterprise adoption. Uh, Thank you, Jason. And now, how's the Australasian region doing in the blockchain matters? How's NAM doing there? So um, just to let everyone know, Australasia actually also means um, Australia and New Zealand and the Pacific Islands. So we haven't actually gone to the Pacific Islands like Fiji, uh, Papua New Guinea events, but I love to go there uh, as well. Currently right now we're focused on uh, Australia and New Zealand, getting the home ground strong first. So, so that's why uh, my role as well is really um, the expansion of Australia and New Zealand with uh, business development. Now ANZ, this region has been uh, very, very promising. In fact, we have uh, in Australia itself, uh, the Prime Minister uh, actually mentioning that uh, he is very open to uh, the utilization of blockchain technology, Scott Morrison. And as well, um, an Australian digital council has been formed to look into uh, blockchain technology as well, uh, along with uh, government funding into Australia. And um, over in New Zealand, uh, we have companies like Air New Zealand announcing uh, a pilot on the blockchain. And we've heard about many companies uh, in New Zealand looking into it. In fact, some of you may be familiar with Cryptopia. Uh, it's one of the exchanges uh, that is widely known with uh, uh, many, many cryptocurrencies and they just have, have a new CEO on board, Alan Wu, and we've been in touch with them in how Cryptopia can continue to innovate in uh, the way it does business and customer service and uh, we're working towards uh, more adoption as well in terms of getting uh, the NEM tokens or the Mosaic tokens on Cryptopia. Uh, with ASZ itself, the strategy really is about enterprise adoption as well. So what we do is we work with uh, businesses to adopt blockchain. We work with blockchain projects to uh, use them and maybe accept them if they were to be launching a token. And we work with professional services companies 
accountants, lawyers, marketing, HR professionals, recruiters, who would like to uh, be part of the NAM ecosystem. So once we've consolidated our ecosystem for 2018, 2019 is going to be a very big push for enterprise adoption. We want to see uh, the small, medium enterprise companies. We want to see the uh, public listed companies all uh, making an intent to use the NAM blockchain itself. And uh, we have really been working hard uh, in terms of where we are right now. We've got about four to five people who are full time in NAM, including myself. And in total, we've got about 20 who are part, where well, we call them the NAM team, where they are either ambassadors or they work for us on a casual position, but they are part of the NAM uh, core team in terms of uh, spreading the word about the NAM blockchain in Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, very exciting times uh, going on with NAM here in this part of the world. And I'm sure Latin America is also really heating up. Um, so many things are happening. In fact, um, we have our Blockchain Center Melbourne, which NAM is uh, very much a part of. And as I know, uh, the Blockchain Center Colombia has been launched uh, as part of the Blockchain Center uh, Melbourne uh, partnership. And NAM as well is partnering with them with their stock and trades and, and the NAM 101 there. Is that right, Alexi? Well, as a matter of fact, yes, uh, in Latin America, we have big things coming uh, in the blockchain issues. That's the time that you should come over. Having you think about coming to Latin America? Um, uh, we'll take our turns. Uh, Nelson, as I know, who is the regional head of Australia and New Zealand and council member, is coming to Latin America, right? Yeah. Yes, he will be coming over with a time who is our Australian lead as well. So both of them are going to be uh, represent, uh, representing uh, Australia and New Zealand uh, to Latin America, if I'm not mistaken, to uh, Colombia. And uh, I'm hoping that they will continue to uh, lead the way and bring that. Uh, for myself, maybe sometime in the future, I would love to be able to meet the community there. Uh, we are, after all, in uh, 40 countries across the world right now. And I know that Latin America is growing very, very strong. So I believe that NAM blockchain will come starting off from uh, nowhere back in uh, March 2015 when we started to now here being one of the top um, and winning blockchains in the world. Okay, Jason, thank you so very much for your time. We know you're a little short on it. And if you want to say something else to our audience here, if for, uh, of the Latin American audience of Latin, feel free to do so, man. Yeah, so I think I'd like to um, let everyone in the Latin America know that uh, NEM is open for business and we are here to support businesses uh, for smart asset enterprise adoption using blockchain technology. So if you're interested to know and you're listening right now, uh, feel free to reach out to the team. Uh, we have our social media, in fact, one of, one of the more popular blockchains on social media and our Telegram channels. Uh, please make sure that uh, you get on board a bit if you're listening to this or watching this itself. Uh, so name as la blockchain espanol. <laughs> Y bien, con esta entrevista que le acabamos de presentar en formato especial, nos despedimos por esta emisión de Latinem. No sin antes recordarles que se suscriban por favor a este canal y que nos hagan llegar también sus comentarios a nuestras redes sociales que hemos dispuesto para que ustedes nos envíen también todo lo que piensan acerca de nosotros para así continuar mejorando. Bien, ya lo saben, si no nos vemos por esta vía, nos podemos ver por el NEM Academia que también hemos dispuesto para ustedes. Mi nombre es Alexis Trujillo y me despido de ustedes. Hasta siempre. Latinem, NEM Blockchain en español para ti.